Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Head to squarespace.com slash saucedash and enter code saucedash to get 10% off of your first purchase. So I've made bacons and chicken and I recently have made a roast beef. I am really enjoying trying to turn a bunch of plants into meat. I think it's really cool what you could do. Now I have used the king oyster mushroom before. I used it to start the plant-based bacon series. This was the guy that started it all. Now I have seen people turn this mushroom into a pulled pork. I thought that was pretty good, I wanted to try it. Now I've done pulled pork using jackfruit and it came out pretty dang good. One of the things that it's missing is fat and I'm assuming that this mushroom is going to be missing that as well. Now after seeing a post on the popular blog, Full of Plants, I came up with an idea. See, Full of Plants made a vegan pork belly that included the fat. That has been one of the hardest things to replicate. So today I'm gonna use the fat that was created by Full of Plants and add it to the pulled pork mushroom and see if we can get a texture that more closely resembles a real pulled pork sandwich. Now you're not gonna need a whole lot for this recipe, just some king oyster mushrooms. I bought a three pack from my local Asian market. These things are pretty great. If you can't find king oyster mushrooms, you can use just about any mushroom, but this one's gonna shred really, really well, very close to pulled pork the way it's gonna shred. So I have already wiped these off with a paper towel. I wouldn't recommend actually washing them or like dredging them, but we're gonna use pretty much all of the parts of them to make this pulled pork. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just shred the mushroom and we're just gonna use a fork to create shreds and kind of just pull through it and you'll see the mushroom start to kind of come apart and really come to life. It's really kind of shocking the way this comes together. Now we're gonna create two piles of the mushroom. We have our pulled ends here and then I'm also gonna use the dark end, the cap of the mushroom and the back end of the mushroom and we're gonna set that aside as like our dark meat and you'll see why in just a minute. So now we have our burnt ends or like our big chunks here. We're just gonna throw this into a bowl and it's okay if it's not perfect, like if there's like big chunks of it uh, and this is gonna kind of shrivel up a little bit, but it's gonna be so good. I've actually been wanting to make this recipe for a little while, but I just felt like so many people were doing it. I didn't feel like I could really add to it and that wasn't until I saw the fat. Okay, so seasonings, I'll leave the full recipe in the description below, but we're gonna use just a bit of sage, not much, a bit of onion powder, some garlic powder, some smoked paprika. I'm gonna use a, just a drop, maybe a half of a teaspoon of liquid smoke. Really make these things smoky. And we're gonna use about a tablespoon and a half of vegetable oil. And I'm doing this on the side because I'm gonna mix in about a teaspoon, uh, maybe not that much about a half of a teaspoon of Marmite, which is really gonna make these things meaty. And I'm doing it in the vegetable oil just to kind of break down the Marmite and kind of thin it out a little bit so it mixes easier. Now you can see it doesn't really incorporate that well into the oil, but it definitely breaks it up and it's gonna make it easier to mix in. I know it probably seems like it won't, but it really will. And now all we're gonna do is just toss these guys in this mixture and get it really nice and evenly coated. It is wild how good that looks. That looks so good. Okay, so now for our fat, we're just gonna do some rice flour. That's just regular stone ground white rice flour. Some tapioca starch. A quarter cup of coconut milk. Maybe a touch more. Quarter cup of water. Now, if you picked up the mushroom seasoning from my last video, it's really gonna help with the taste of this. I'm just gonna drop about a pinch of mushroom seasoning into the mixture here, then a pinch of salt. Now I'm gonna turn this onto a low heat and then whisk this all together. It's gonna to get pretty pasty. I'm gonna switch over to a wooden spoon to kind of mix this together and make sure it's on a really, really low heat. Okay, so this should be almost like a, a mochi-like rice cake. Now this is gonna be quite a bit. We definitely don't need this whole ball of, of fat. So we're just gonna let this chill, move this over to the side. I'm just gonna take a smaller bowl and I'm gonna dump in these ends here I'll let this cool down just a little bit. And I'm just pressing it thin just to get a nice like fat-like layer like you would almost see on like a bacon or something. Now I'm just gonna kinda cut bits of this. Now we're not gonna use not even half of this. I mean, barely just gonna use it. You just wanna kinda eyeball. You want the fat to be about 10% of the total recipe, not much. So I'm just cutting like slivers of it and then kinda just chopping those burnt like pork belly ends. That's essentially what we're gonna be replicating. Now we're only gonna use about a quarter of that fat. The only problem is, is when you make this, 
it's just too hard to make it in any smaller amount. Now in this fat section, it's gonna get seasoned pretty similarly. You don't have to go crazy on the seasoning on this side. The seasoning's really gonna come from this other side. And that's it, we have our fatty pulled pork and our clean pulled pork here. It's gonna be so good. So we just have a baking sheet with some parchment paper on it. We're just gonna drop this on the baking sheet. Try to spread it out pretty even. I mean, this looks awesome. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to put this together. So I'm only keeping this separate just so I can see how it comes, comes out in the end, but I think it's gonna be good. We got these little fatty bits, which I think are just gonna be so awesome. So here it is. This is our fat side and our pork side. Now I have my oven preheated for 400 degrees. I'm gonna drop it in the oven for 20 minutes. Let's go do that. So I've been working on a new blog, Sawstash Mark. I'm designing the blog on squarespace.com. I chose Squarespace for the blog because they have some really powerful blogging tools. They make it easy for you to share recipes, photos, videos. You could schedule your posts and categorize. They really made it easy for the website to work for you. But one of the other features that really sold me on Squarespace was their modern templates. Each template design is crafted by their world-class design team. And each one of their templates are created with modern browsers and mobile devices in mind. And they employ the latest CSS, HTML and JavaScript techniques. So head over to squarespace.com to start your free trial, but when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash saucestash and use offer code saucestash to get 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. It's pretty awesome. Okay, <laughs> okay, this looks awesome. I mean, just look at this. The fatty side looks great. The non-fatty side looks great. This looks amazing. So now what we're gonna do is just drop this in the skillet. I'm just gonna get the pan pretty hot. We don't need any oil because these already have like a nice amount of liquid on them. So we're gonna cook up that fatty side first. Just to give a little bit of like a crunch or a crisp to those fat pieces. It actually smells pretty meaty, which is just really wild. And let's go ahead and just dump on the rest of this. I mean, just by itself, how it is right now, just it just looks so wonderful, and it really has a great meaty-like texture. Wow, I mean, just wow. So you could do what you like with your barbecue sauce. What I'm gonna do is just do some ketchup, maybe about a tablespoon. Then I like the Kansas City style barbecue sauces, and we're just gonna coat these guys up really nice probably twice the amount in the Kansas City sauce. Turn down the heat pretty low and then just kind of toss this through. Now adding any sort of like onion or garlic to this isn't gonna hurt it. It'll make it taste great. Now I'm gonna let this simmer together just in the pan for just a minute, let the sauces kind of soak in and any additional liquid that needs to cook out, let that cook out. Now I got a nice potato bun. I love the bun. This is amazing. Uh, so the nice thing about it, leaving it in the pan is you get some of those like little burnt pieces that you're gonna get with a regular pulled pork sandwich. I mean, just look at this. Ah! <laughs> I mean, it looks so awesome. Put this on a sandwich. I mean, I've done the jackfruit pulled pork, but I'll tell you, it does not come close to this. It does not come close to this. The texture in this is just insane. I mean, just insane. Let's give it a bite. I think this is gonna be the winner. Mm. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like I can't, that is so good. That is so good. Unbelievable, the texture's there, the taste is there, the, the bite, the chew, I love it. I love it. Adding the fat chunks really rounds out some of the texture that you would normally get, like the texture issues that you would have with just the mushroom. But adding that fat really rounded out the taste and the mouth feel of it. I mean, it really made a big difference. Really made a big difference. Well, that's it. That is my upgraded, my new version of the mushroom, the king oyster mushroom pulled pork. I think that's the way to do it. Now you can use your own barbecue sauce. You can use your own seasoning. That's what's gonna change the flavor, but the technique is what's gonna change the texture and change the game. All the names that you see scrolling over here on the side, these are the members of the Sauce Squad. I have a bunch of new Sauce Squad members that have been joining lately. You are all awesome. Thank you so much. You're awesome too. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. If you haven't yet, make sure you click the subscribe button and click this video right here. This is gonna be my bacon series. 
So I don't want to forget to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. Head over to squarespace.com to start your free trial. But when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash sauce and enter code sauce to get 10% off of your first purchase.